It's an honor to throw out the ceremonial first pitch on opening day. Today at Wrigley Field in Chicago, actor Bill Murray put his own spin on tradition by first running the bases. Most fans love opening day because every team, even the Cubs, get a new beginning. But Jim Axelrod found someone who is immersed in baseball's past. This is where we keep pretty much our inventory and my goodness. Outside Chicago, the man with the largest private collection of baseball films in the country couldn't care less that it's opening day. I don't follow baseball like I used to, Jim. I can't name you the starting lineups of the Cubs. Today. Not this year's Cubs anyway. To grab Doak Ewing's attention. Here was a pitch to the Bay. The baseball game has to be at least a half century old. Say the Cubs from the 1935 World Series. Because I like it the way it used to be. So yes, I like to show people how things used to be. Doak's love affair with baseball movies started when he was a kid in the 1950s. My mother wouldn't allow TV in the home. She thought television was evil. So we never had TV. No TV. No TV, but, but we did have movies. Since I couldn't watch baseball on TV and yet I love baseball, I, I got to see it through these movies over and over. In 1980, working for the Atlanta Braves, he found a dumpster full of old films the club was about to toss. A collector was born. All of these have been cleaned, timed, labeled. For example, right here, um, all right, 1954 baseball news highlights. The great Ted Williams. He's now got 1,500 baseball films. Mr. Don Larson has been brilliant. Rarities, like the only known broadcast of Don Larson's perfect game in the 56 World Series. Got it. Or this 1947 Boston Braves promo film, one of the first in color. Rookie Mickey Mantle. And check out Mickey Mantle's first at bat with the Mick wearing number six, not the number seven he'd later make famous. Game eight. When Ken Burns needed footage of the scandalous 1919 Chicago White Sox, the team that threw the World Series, he went to Ewing. And I didn't charge him a cent. I, I just didn't charge well, him a Well, I'd say he that. got off with he the better part of the well. deal, right? He got off very well. Here we go. Doak Ewing makes a comfortable living selling videos of these films. But for him, there's an even greater value. Films remind us old guys of how things used to be so simple. Maybe it was better in the old days that we didn't know some of the stuff that we know now. <laughs> it's a visit to a simpler world, a trip made possible by an old projector and two magic words, play ball. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Naperville, Illinois.